Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazoo. Knowing your skills is back and thanks for being patient since the last episode and today we will be episode 11. We will be talking about two skills from the physician class which is the love virus and heal shower skill respectively. For LOV love virus, we will share with you what a skill can do which makes it useful in both 1v1 and group PvP and then we will show you how to land this skill successfully. For heal shower, we will show you the limits of exactly how much this skill can heal as well as the usual useful information that you must know. As always, we start with the basic information. Love virus when successfully hitting and affecting a target renders that target not being able to damage the physician for 6 seconds. So what does that mean? In 1v1 PvP, if you are hit by love virus, you will not be able to do any form of damage to the physician for 6 seconds. For physicians, it basically means that you get free divine vata status for 6 seconds. It gets interesting in group PvP. Targets affected by love virus can actually attack their own teammates aka friendly fire mode on. Let's show you what we mean. So how do you use Love Virus offensively? Well, the first thing you need to know is that Love Virus can hit knockdown targets unlike Ice Beam from Adepts. As they always say, seeing is believing. Let's watch a short clip. The second thing you need to know is that bulk of Love Virus damage comes from the explosion of the cute little hearts at the end of its travelling motion. This is very important information if you want Love Virus to do significant damage when chaining it in your attacking combos. Also know that like rolling lava and laser cutter, this love virus can also explode when hitting walls. Let's see to believe. We will now show you a bad example of training love virus without making use of the explosion and then some possible skills can use to help you use love virus as a follow up to include the explosion damage. The key will be the distance between you and the target when you cast the virus. After knowing all these, BS Alchemy who helped make this episode possible has a combo to share with you guys. Enjoy! Well, that's all for Love Virus, let's move on to Hugh Shower. So basically, heal shower is an AoE heal that a physician can cast, and the amount your heal is affected by your bubble counters where each bubble heals for an extra 15% based off your magic attack. So the next question is this, is the heal amount from heal shower significant at all? To put this to the test, we set 4 testing parameters. First test will be heal shower alone without bubble counters and no skill ring. Second test will be heal shower alone with 0 bubble counters, but with skill ring. Third test will be huge shower with cocktail buff, zero bubble counters, with skill ring. And last but not least, huge shower with cocktail buff, maximum bubble counters, and skill ring. From our results, the highest amount hit was around 7.4k which I believe is close to 20% of our academic's actual HP in compensation on PvP. This is definitely significant but know that heal shower will use up all your bubble counters should you have any. Personally, I feel that it's more useful in a group PvP setting compared to a 1v1 setting since the chances of you having 10 bubble counters and using it for a heal is low if you are always pressured by your opponent. And that's all for heal shower, wait what? Chill guys, there's just one more thing to share. Huge Shower can remove all debuffs from you and your allies. 
The words all debuffs are in italics because I've only tested up to 4 debuffs stacked up on one character. As long as the skill inflicts a debuff counter on your character, it can be removed by a heal shower. Of course, if you're frozen yourself, time stops, or are flinched by skills, you cannot cast heal shower to remove those debuffs on you. It does not work like relief. You can however remove such debuffs from your teammates if you are able to cast the skill successfully. And that's all for this week's Knowing Your Skills episode 11. Hope you guys are glad that the series is back. From what I've seen so far, Steel, Magic and a Shot of Relic is definitely two skills you guys really want to see featured next week. However, do let me know otherwise like you have always done before by leaving it behind in the comment section what skills you want to see next week. Check out the last episode featuring Shock Transition from Lloyd's Inquisitor Guide or episode 10 where we featured Finish Attack and Ice Spear. Thanks for watching once again, remember to storm that like button if you enjoy or learn something from this video. God bless and I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.